drinking buddies, I have got an epic bottle haul to share with you. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> all right, drinking buddies. So these are all the bottles I've gotten since the last um, video where I did this. I think that was the fries event. Um, but since then, there have been a number of drops in my area and a lot of them I just picked up for other people so if they're not included in here I probably I did have many more bottles come through my house but I picked them up for channel members and close friends um, so this is this is these are all the bottles that I am keeping for myself um, first up uh, I ordered off the new riff website the new riff Kentucky straight malted rye sherry finished barrel proof uh, so this is a six-year-old, 100% malted rye finished in Oloroso on Pedro Jimenez Sherry Bit Casks. And I am so excited for this one. You guys know I love the new Riff stuff. And uh, funny story on this bottle, I'm going to give a cautionary tale on ordering from this website. Um, so I know it was directly from New Riff, but they source their online platform from... I'll put it right here. Uh, Speakeasy, I think. Anyway, I'll put it right here. And that company wasn't the best. It took 23 days for this to land, despite $20 in shipping. And uh, yeah, it just was a little disappointing. I mean, the actual shipping time was like, not that bad. It literally just, they just didn't fill the order. Um, I contacted them through customer service and they're just like, yeah, we're busy. So I don't know. I, I was a little disappointed with that. Let me know in the comments if you think 23 days for a ordering online is, is normal because I've just gotten whiskeys much faster than that in the past. So maybe I'm maybe I'm completely off base here, but I feel like 23 days is, is a pretty long time to wait for for an order. Um, next up, my buddy Mac um, was was kind enough to gift me with this Jack 12. He knows it's one of my favorite whiskeys. And, um, you know, uh, I, I've, I've found a few things for him. And uh, so he just decided to treat me with this. And I, I'm very, very grateful because he knows it's one of my all-time favorite whiskeys, and now I don't have to, uh, the one that I have open, I don't have to drink quite as slowly. Uh, next up, my mom is moving here from Texas, so I said, hey, before you leave Texas, I'm going to need you to check out your local store, because I need to see if you can get me anything else from Rio Bravo, Rio Bravos. So I really liked their wheat whiskey. This is a very unknown distillery, very small, but Rio Bravos Distillery's wheat whiskey I really enjoyed. So I had her pick me up the single barrel Texas bourbon as well. Now this is distilled by them. Um, and it is 121 proof. Wait, one, sorry. 121.6 proof, 121.6 proof. It says it's three years old. So I don't know. In Texas, things age a lot much faster. So I'm not letting that three years scare me off. I mean, you can tell by how dark it is, so. Um, and also, while she was at that same store, she happened to see that they had a, a JT Melick at 121.9 proof. Um, and I like the, I really like the JT Melick stuff, so I'm really excited to have another pick from JT Melick. That's, that's really cool. One of my favorite picks. Um, next up, we have Total Wine. So, Total Wine is a well that seems to have dried up. I mean, I have heard, I did get in the last haul, or two hauls ago, I got the Stag 24A. That was great. But since then, every time I've gone, nothing has landed. And from what I'm hearing from other people, nothing is landing really often. They did have a load. They did get a drop last week, but it was on a random day. It was on a Thursday. So it kind of, and their big drops lately have been on uh, random. So it, it's one of those situations where if you're retired and you can go there every day, you might be able to find something decent. But the truth is, as someone who doesn't have time for that, um, Total Wine is hard. Um, so all I bought in the last month and a half, two months from Total Wine, I need, I'm out of stuff to make Manhattans, so I bought some vermouth. That's literally it, because I, I can't really find anything else there worth grabbing. Um, next up, um, I'm not going to say where I got this one, because I'm, I'm keeping it close to my vest. If you're in the, a channel member, you know. Uh, but um, anyway, I, I have a funny story about this one. So uh, I, 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 I knew that they had it, so I sent somebody in the back to go get it. I was tipped off, and... Uh, Elmer Teeley and I, uh, I mentioned, I, me I messaged my discord and I said, Hey, I verified it's here. Um, I come, come get it, you know? And so it was really funny because one of my channel members was there and about like, I'm not exaggerating when I say a minute and a half, I, I wonder if he lives in the parking lot. I'm not sure there was some side of tater magic going on there. Uh, but it was pretty impressive that he got there so quickly. All right, and then we, I, there are some, there are some bangers here, and we have two more that are just 
extra special. So I was able to get the uh, brand new Makers Cellar Aged. This is the 2024 release. I might review this before I post this bottle haul, so you might already know I have this. If that's the case, I'm sorry. But I did get this at Nana's Kitchen here in Tucson, Arizona. Um, he gets a lot of bottles. Um, you can buy, you can ask him for bottles. If there's something you're looking for, he can usually find it if it's available. If it's allocated, it might take some time. Uh, but if it's something that you're looking for, he can usually find it. Um, and they have amazing food, such great food. And his pricing is more than fair for bottles and for pours. Currently he has some really good bottles up there for pours. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend Nana's Kitchen, especially if you are in uh, Tucson. But if you're in Arizona, it's a, you know, you live in Phoenix or something, it's worth a trip down. I have a lot of my channel members in Phoenix come down for events and stuff, and it's a really good time. And last up, I think this is the PS de Resistance. I did already open this because the second I got it, I opened it. It was too fancy not to. We were doing our fantasy draft for the, um, the channel member fantasy draft. And I'm sorry, I've mentioned the channel members a lot, but they're good friends in the community and I talk to them like every day. So this video tends to be, this video seems to be more uh, channel member forward than normal. Oh, it has the mash bill on the, um, on the uh, <clears throat> Rio Bravo. I'm gonna go back to that real quick because I didn't see this. 56.25% sweet corn, 25% soft red wheat, 18.75 malted barley. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and it is a specs pick. They both are specs picks. And uh, so anyway, last bottle up, I got it. Um, it was special to me. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Dusty, it's BTAC. I, I traded for this, I traded a lot for this, um, but it was a fair trade, especially considering how old the bottle is. But yeah, I got a 2014 Thomas H. Handy, 129 proof, 124.9 proof. I grabbed the right one, right? Did I grab the right one? Hold on. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong Thomas Handy. That was that was last year's. This is the 2014. It is 129.2 proof. And uh, I opened it that night so I could share it with my buddies that were there. And uh, yeah, it's excellent, of course, as you figured. I'll do a full review of that one as soon as I can. Um, yeah, so what do you think of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, technically seven bottle, bottle haul. I don't know if I can count the vermouth. Um, what do you think of this bottle haul? Let me know in the comments. What have you gotten recently? What have you gotten in the last month? Um, which, which of these are you most excited for me to review? Because there's some stuff up here I'm really looking forward to trying. Um, cannot wait to pop this guy. I cannot wait to pop this guy. I want to have some more of this again. Um, you know, I still have one of these open, so I'm happy there. I still have one of these open, so I'm happy there. Um, this guy's going to be special too. Yeah, this is this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun month of reviews because there's some bangers here. And I got some samples too from some good buddies. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not a subscriber because there's going to be some fun stuff coming. I also have a tournament coming up with some other YouTubers where we will figure out what the best Texas whiskey is. Unfortunately, this guy's not in there because I didn't have it yet. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. I'm your drinking buddy.